Hi everyone, I'm Nicole and I'm a product developer at Really Good Stuff and today I have a fun activity for you to do with your child or your students and it's actually from our Really Good Stuff STEM Challenge flip chart. So if you're gonna do the activity right now, um, parents, I need you to go ahead and buy, grab a few things for your child. Um, those things are safety scissors, tape, and a few recyclable items. So it's actually a pretty simple thing. Um, if you have a recycling bin, you could grab anything from um, cardboard to plastic bottles to paper, anything that is um, that you have that's clean and that can be cut up um, or kind of crumbled up or manipulated in a way that you know it's, it's gonna be trash after we're done with the lesson. So I'm gonna show you the lesson we're gonna do today. And as I'm, as I'm going through the beginning, this is a time where you can go grab those materials if you'd like to do the lesson right now with me. And if your child can just sit here and listen to this part of the lesson, um, they'll be ready to go when you come back. So our task today is to keep our grass green. So we have to create a contraption that will pick up and collect as many leaves as possible in 30 seconds. But before we do so, it's so important that we know more about the topic. So I'm gonna read you this little blurb here about grass. When grass is covered in leaves, the weight of the leaves can stop the grass from properly growing. Also, the moisture from the leaves can sometimes cause the grass roots to rot. How can we keep all of our grass alive and green? So right now, it's a time where we need to ask some questions to better understand the problem. So see if you can come up with some questions um, about the grass or the leaves that would help you create a great contraption that will clean up the leaves. So you can either do that on your own or you might need a parent to kind of help you. Um, and I want you to write down your questions. So parents, if you're back, um, it's important for you to know that there is actually a link in this video with a reproducible that you can print out that looks just like this page um, if you wanna use that to write in. Or you can talk out the steps um, of the, less, of the STEM lesson if you choose to. So ask some questions and then you need to do some research. So whether you have books or if you use the internet, it's important to really collect a lot of information about the problem that's going on um, because that's then going to translate into the design that your child creates. So once you become, um, once you learn more about the topic, you can then imagine and plan. So if you wanna stop your video right now and do this, um, and then when you return, you can finish the video, that's fine. Or you can get the whole gist of what the lesson's about. And at the end, um, you can watch the whole video. So then you're going to imagine and plan. And you're going to jot down some notes about your plan and also draw your design out here on this little blueprint area, um, just for your first design. So this is your first time trying to solve this problem. So I'm gonna show you what I created. Um, after doing some research, I found that I thought this would be the best way to clean up the leaves. Um, so I took some thin cardboard, some tissue paper, and some skewers, and I taped them together thinking that um, the way that this closes is going to pick up the leaves really nicely. And then I also have this space here that will hold the leaves. So once they're held in here, then they won't fall back onto the ground. So um, I decided to test my design out inside. Um, so I created some for 10 leaves out of some sticky notes. And I'm gonna place them right here on the table. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to try to pick them up. So as you can see, hmm, this is not working as well as I thought it would. And there's a few reasons. First, I noticed that the end of my contraption is not really made to pick up these scraps. So that's kind of a problem. Um, another thing is I realized if I picked up all of those scraps, I'm not really sure that they would fit here. So they probably would start to fall off. So this is a time where I'm going to go ahead and improve my design. So I'm either going to take what I have and try to improve it, or I might actually start from scratch and just get rid of this old version and start um, fresh. So once you create your second version, that's when you're gonna test it again. And hopefully you created a, uh, something that solves the problem. If not, you can keep um, fixing your problem, I mean, I'm sorry, fixing your design and keep on trying until you get it right. It's important to know that that's what engineers do. They don't always solve the problem on the first try. They have to keep um, kind of troubleshooting until they find the solution. So that's it for our STEM lesson today. 
Um, I will be back each week. Um, this is actually the reproducible that I mentioned before that will be um, on the link if you want to print it out. Um, that's available for you if you want your kids to write out the lesson. So as I was saying, um, I will be back each week with a STEM lesson. We also have a ton of different videos coming um, with different content to help you during this difficult time. Please reach out to us with any questions you have um, or ideas that you, you know, for videos that you'd like to see. And we will see you throughout the week. Have a nice one. Thanks.